It's really frustrating when Dependabot opens a pull request on your project only for CI to fail because some hash in your Nix expression has become out of date. Well, we fixed it in Determinant Nix 3.3.1. Let's check it out. So here we are, a Go project with a Dependabot pull request updating a Go module. It's broken the fixed output hash and now CI is failing. Now, if you're building your project locally, a typical experience is you build it, you copy the correct hash, and you update your Nix expression. But to be honest, that's kind of frustrating and slow. Let's rewind time and see what it would be like to fix this with determinate Nix. Run determinate Nix D fix hashes, and you'll get prompted to update your, your Nix expressions. Determinate Nix remembers the hashes and the old hash you used that was wrong and the correct hash that you should have used. This is good. This is a lot better, especially for the local development workflow. But it's still not quite right for the pull request use case, where you already have a pull request and it failed because the hash is wrong. And we've made that a little bit better as well by making the GitHub action annotate your pull request with the correct hashes. But that's not quite good enough because really I don't want the friction of having to update the code at all. I want the code to be correct as soon as Dependabot puts the pull request in. And we've done that too. So what I've done here is I've added a step to the CI workflow where if it fails, it automatically tries to fix any hashes that were wrong, makes a commit, and pushes it to the branch. That means the next time Dependabot runs, if the hash is wrong, it will automatically make the correct fix and push it to the branch so that when I come to review it, it'll be ready for review. So I asked Dependabot to rebase the pull request, and there we go. It has automatically done that rebase, and our action has correctly changed the hashes in the Nix expressions and submitted it as a separate commit on top. The GitHub won't automatically run actions if an action made the commit. And so we do still need to close and then reopen the pull request to trigger our CI run. The time I come back to review it, all I have to do is close it and reopen it. A CI will run and the code is correct. And while that builds, I thought I might show you something else that we put into Determinant Nix 3.3.1 plus our GitHub action. We now show you a timeline of everything that you built during your CI pipeline. It shows you how long derivations took, what was blocking the other derivations, and so on. We even show you and point out if something failed, for example, the red one. And at the end of the summary, we also show you the log of the failing builds. All right, it looks like the CI finished running and the automatically generated commit was correct. So all the hashes are correct and the software built successfully. As soon as this pull request is reviewed, it is completely ready to merge. No changes required. So there you go, a few things we've been working on. Get Determinant Nix 3.3.1 from docs.determinant.systems.